Chapter 301, Gui Fushu. Li Kai instantly challenged Gui Fushu the moment he stepped onto the stage. He announced for Gui Fushu to accept his death, and this caused many people present to take a cold breath. They thought that this brat was too arrogant. Gui Fushu's expression became ugly. After joining the ancient kingdom as a genius, whoever dared to defy him like this? After hearing such boisterous words, some Zenith and Grand Disciples shook their heads and expressed, This brat is too arrogant, too crazy. Even a few spectating sacred disciples' glaring eyes narrowed. This kid is naive. Gui Fushu is capable of joining the sacred air hall. He only joined the Zenith air hall because of a certain matter. Gui Fushu stepped onto the stage with a cold and dark aura that resembled a great fiend. Then he looked at Li Kai with hostility. How do you want to die? Should I tear your limbs apart or mince you into pieces? Li Kai didn't care about him and slowly said, You talk too much. You should take action rather than move your lips. Gui Fushu's ghastly aura soared as he shouted, Ignorant fool. His initial ghastly aura suddenly turned into layers of immortal lights that had a faint emperor's air. In an instant, Gui Fushu unleashed an unbelievable and too swift to see speed. With a loud boom, Gui Fushu slammed into Li Kai, causing him to crash into the dragon stage. Boom. A deafening explosion occurred as Li Kai's body flew into the stage, causing its magical runes to flash. This stage was maintained by invincible characters with unerasable universal laws. Otherwise, even a huge mountain would shatter after being hit with such force. After his successful attack, Gui Fushu arrogantly stood there and proclaimed, Just a mere firefly yet still dares to compete with the moon's brilliance. His breath exuded an emperor or along with the wonderful lights, rendering others in awe. Brilliant immortal pursuit, immortal emperor Yao Guang's longevity law. Even sacred era students changed their expressions as they gazed towards the suppressive emperor aura. As for the Grand Era and Zenith Era disciples, an emperor law was something far beyond their reach. Presumptuous brat, it would be strange if he didn't die after suffering a blow from an emperor law. A Zenith Era disciple was quite pleased to see someone suffer. Senior Fushu has a peerless emperor law, he's more than enough to lord over the Fela. Even though they were just words of flattery, the hearts of many people sank. A five palace one celestial enlightened being with an emperor law was a great threat even to a five celestial enlightened being. At this time, a lazy voice rang out as Li Kai stood up and wiped the dust off his body. Firefly, are you referring to yourself? I'm only warming up, yet you still boast without any shame. Die. Seeing Li Kai fine and well, Gui Fushu shouted. He then rushed forward. At this moment, his speed exceeded all imagination like a bolt of lightning as he slammed into Li Kai's body. Such speed and impact resulted in discoloration on many people's faces. This was pure speed without any technique nor merit laws. Sometimes, pure speed alone was more frightening than even merit laws. Gui Fushu cultivated the brilliant immortal pursuit which resulted in him being incredibly fast. Li Kai stood firm against Gui Fushu's swift impact. His body suddenly exploded as divine laws started their hymn. The hell suppressing godly physique awakened and immediately suppressed the heaven and earth. Bang! A deafening blast exploded as Gui Fushu crashed into Li Kai and blood sprayed everywhere. However, the one struck flying away was not Li Kai, and the spilled blood was not from him either. It was from Gui Fushu's body. The moment his godly physique came out, Li Kai became an immovable divine mountain heavier than the earth as it oppressed the nine worlds. Although Gui Fushu was fast, him slamming into Li Kai was the same as attacking a mountain, thus it resulted in his current state. Gui Fushu flew in the air and performed a somersault to stabilize before gliding in the air with his divine wings made out of light. Li Kai smiled and said, What to escape? Before Gui Fushu landed, Li Kai took a step forward and a Kung Peng rushed up in the sky with an emperor or as Li Kai chased after Gui Fushu. His heavenly foot stomped down on Gui Fushu's body. Gui Fushu -e was shocked. In the blink of an eye, his divine wings flapped, leaving behind a vacant shadow. Using an unbelievable speed, he used his peerless emperor law to its maximum potential and dodged Li Kai's foot. Then he created a distance between the two of them. Still want to run? Li Kai smiled. The Kung Peng jumped into the sky and the space variant appeared. Suddenly, the disparities in space no longer existed, although Gui Fushu's impressive speed amazed even the geniuses from the sacred air hall. But before he could escape, Li Kai already blocked his path and fiercely struck him with a whiplike kick. Stunned within the moment, he couldn't escape even if he wanted to. He then instinctively summoned a defensive light treasure. He was very fast, but Li Kai was even faster. Bang! Li Kai's kick, with a force of millions and millions of pounds, caved downward. The life treasure shattered and the sound of crushed bones appeared. Gui Fushu's body heavily slammed into the dragon stage while his purple blood stained the ground. After hearing the sound of bones being crushed, all the spectators took in a cold breath and were absolutely horrified. They felt as if it was their own bones being shattered, the Kung Peng's six variants. At this time, one great sacred air genius focused his gaze towards the Kung Peng above Li Kai's head and murmured in astonishment. Crack crack at this time, the sound of bones reconnecting appeared. Gui Fushu stood up as his blood-stained body was issuing clacking sounds while his bones came together again and his wounds recovered. Such a frightening emperor law, the brilliant immortal pursuit. The spectating disciples from both the Grand Air Hall and Zenith Air Hall were quite shocked at his swift recovery. This recovery rate would make it near impossible to kill him. Gui Fushu then roared, Little animal, you have angered me. His body then split into four exact copies. The four of them stood at the same place. One couldn't tell which one was real and which ones were fake. Are they illusions? After seeing the four Gui Fushu standing together, a student quietly whispered. Another one opened his heavenly gaze but he couldn't distinguish the real one from the fakes. All four are real. A disciple from the sacred air hall shook his head and said, They are not illusions. This great genius also used an unmatchable heavenly gaze, but he still couldn't see the real one. 
so he was certain that all four were real. A disciple who had some knowledge regarding Gui Fushu's clan explained with surprise, harmonizing Tatra ghosts. Rumor has it that this is the ultimate art of a ghost clan. One can turn into four while maintaining the same power as the original form. Everyone's hearts started to thump after hearing this. One Gui Fushu was scary enough. So what about four? Little animal. Accept your death. The four Gui Fushu surrounded Likaya's five palaces rose above their heads. The five fate palaces then turned into a domain for each of the clones that eventually resonated together like a vast kingdom. Rumble. The sound of the Grand Dao appeared with a deafening bang. The four domains turned into a kingdom to trap Likai. Inside this kingdom, the four domains slowly lifted a giant statue with a grim visage of a ferocious ghost. How is this possible? Five palaces turning into a kingdom. After seeing this scene, all the students were frightened. One had to know that fate palaces were extremely important to cultivators, and four fate palaces could turn into a domain while eight fate palaces could turn into a kingdom. Gui Fushu only had five fate palaces so he could only form one domain. It was impossible for him to create a kingdom, yet he actually managed to accomplish this unbelievable feat. An extremely talented disciple explained, This is called five desolaces, not a kingdom. The harmonizing tetra ghosts combining four domains might look like a kingdom, but its power is far below a real one. Bang, bang, bang. The four giant ghost statues spewed out ghastly energy, filling the sky. In just a moment, the four statues borrowed the power of Gui Fushu's five desolaces to wake up and become four invincible evil ghosts. The ghastly energy surrounded Likai and turned into boundless divine tidal waves. In but a split moment, it not only encompassed Likai but also turned into ominous chains that wanted to bind him. Inside the five desolaces, no matter where Likai went, he would be submerged within this ghastly energy. The ominous and evil chains were like maggots attaching to bones. Likai would never be able to escape.